Hey guys, so today I'm gonna go ahead and show you Baby Ollie's Nursery. If you don't know, we do have a time-lapse video out, so go ahead and check it out, it's in the link below. Um, but a lot of the items in this room is actually items that were um, given to us by subscribers and viewers and people who are just so generous. So yeah, we just wanted to thank them first of all because you guys helped definitely uh, form this room into what it is. Um, you may notice that it is a nautical theme. It did start out as a beach theme, but it slowly just turned into nautical. You'll also notice that a big icon in the room is anchors. Um, basically, we really liked the verse um, showing that anchors are a symbol of hope, firm and secure, and Baby Ollie is just that for me and Brian and also to many others. He is just such a symbol of hope and is such a miracle. So let's go ahead and get started on showing you his nursery. All right, so right over here, right as you walk in, we have um, a little, I guess, painting of some sort that just says, you anchor me. Um, it also shows uh, the Lanning family and Brian, which Brian, Missy, Karma, and Oliver. Um, and then we go ahead and I'll show you his um, closet. And his closet is actually a lot of clothes that I don't necessarily use right now. These are most, mostly sizes that are three months and up, basically. So I've just got his pants, he's got some swim, sh swim shorts and whatever. Um, also onesies, sleepers, sacks, um, all that. Basically going up all the way to six months. Um, the rest of his clothes are put away for now. Um, I also have his, um, just some items that he probably will be using right now. Um, that's actually a tummy time and something for the sun uh, to shade him if we ever go to the beach. And on the other side, it's really nice because there's lots of shelving. Um, and here we've got a lot of blankets, another tummy time um, thing, and then some little details that uh, I just don't really have place for right now. Lots of uh, uh, swaddlers and um, receiving blankets and then down here are a lot of items that he will not be using right now um, it's like a toy laptop toy camera um, and just a little things that he's not gonna need at the moment and then right here we have his crib and of course his changing table I'll probably be doing a video to really show in depth how we work um, with his cloth diapers but uh, right in here we actually the first drawer we have his cloth diaper or cloth wipes um, and then we actually put for now um, his cloth or basically a spray bottle for cloth wiping um, and then any other little details are just kind of right in there. Right above his crib we actually have his name hanging um, Oliver. At the moment he's not sleeping in here so that probably will have to be more secure when he does um, end up sleeping but it's super cute for now. <laughs> right now I just have his teddy bears that we absolutely love um, and then a diaper caddy just for little details for now um, are just in here. Like I said, he's not really sleeping in here right now. Um, right next to the crib, we have his uh, actual trash can for his cloth diapers. So that is where his cloth diapers don't look though. <laughs> um, he goes to the bathroom a lot. Oh gosh, that's not weird. <laughs> Um, and then of course he's got his laundry basket for all his dirty laundry. Um, up here I have an anchor that was actually sent to us by Brian's mom and it holds a lot of his jackets which right now he's not going to be able to use but maybe in the future he will be. Um, and then this is mainly all of his cloth diapers um, and stuff. In this one we have all of his um, extra smalls, newborn um, cloth diapers. That's kind of where we've decided to put those. Um, and then right in here, this one's a little bit overstuffed, which will be moving the extra smalls out of the way once he gets older. Um, but this one is all of his one size diapers. So these are diapers that will fit him um, once he gets a little bit larger and then all the way to hopefully like two years old um, or until he's potty trained. Um, right now, I'm, I'm just got up here his diaper bag. Um, and then we have this little basket, which I'm hoping is not gonna turn into a catch-all, um, but it just kinda has a lot of little items. My nursing pads and a lot of other little details, and hopefully, like I said, it just doesn't turn into junk, but we'll see. Um, and here is all of his inserts and um, pre-folds. Um, and then right next to it is a lot of his burp rags. Um, I've got lots of burp rags and lots of bibs, so that's what's in there. Um, for now, right in here, is all of his toys. I'm hoping to get an actual toy box really soon and actually I'm hoping for a treasure box if we can get that. And then right on the other side, we have a lot of his books, um, mostly all books about Oliver. <laughs> They're like called Oliver and Ollie. Um, and then a basket that holds my um, 
breast pump. We actually have this really, really cool shade that we purchased from Lowe's. It's really nice because it easily just kind of goes up and down by pressing this button. And it's really good because it blocks almost all the light and keeps it a little bit cooler in here. It actually has something that protects the sun from getting into too much. So we really, really like this. Okay, so right next to his glider is the table. I use this obviously when I'm nursing to put things on and set things down. Um, and then down here, we actually have not um, done his uh, prints yet, but we'll be doing his hand print and foot print, um, which I'm really looking forward to. So hopefully we get to do that really soon. Up here is something that me and Brian actually painted um, so that we could hang it in his room. We thought it would just be a cute little detail to it. Um, and of course, it's holding a starfish in a seashell. Uh, we also have a cute little um, sign that just says beach, which I absolutely love. I think it really adds to the beach theme that I was originally going for. Okay, so here we have um, my glider that actually my sister um, purchased for me because she wanted to get me a special present. I absolutely love it. Oliver loves it. Whenever he's feeling fussy, I just sit in it and he is just he just calms right down. Um, of course, it's got a little um, ottoman which glides with me and so we really, really, really like it. Um, another really cool feature about this is that it actually has, which is actually turned around right now, but it has a thing that I can push out and actually folds right down and I can put my feet on it so that if I don't want to glide, I can just put my feet up and it's really, really nice too. Okay, so uh, right here we have our famous chalkboard, which me and Brian are obsessed with chalkboards, and we make them quite often with uh, cool frames and stuff. So right now I just have it with he's here with all of his birth stats. Um, and then hanging up here is just a cool little a subscriber sent it to us. Um, it's like a banner, and it's obviously his theme, so I thought it would look cute hanging up there. Sitting on top of his dresser um, are a lot of items, once again, that subscribers have sent us. This is one of our favorite um, actually was sent to us. It's a print that someone created. It's actually called a linograph and it's really, really interesting if you want to look it up on how he did it. Um, but we really like it. It's a really cool detail to the room and it matches it really well. Um, of course, this item right here is really special. It was, it has in here all kinds of notes that were written to him and me and Brian at his baby shower. So this one's a really sentimental item in here that one day maybe he'll go through and read. Um, so we really like it, basically a symbol of messages in the bottle. All right, so hanging right over here is a dig in summer, again, starting out with my beach theme. My mom actually got that for him really early on, and so I really like that one too. So let's go ahead and talk about what's in his actual dresser. Um, there's not a lot in here right now, because obviously um, we've, we've only been doing this for about a week, so we've got a lot of, dress, a lot of uh, drawers to fill up and stuff, but right in here, um, it has a lot of his newborn clothes, onesies, um, and then rompers, sleepers, um, and then shirts and uh, overalls. Right in here are a lot of hats and stuff for um, just to keep him warm if he's ever cold. Um, I've got all his socks and shoes right in this drawer which is also kind of a jumbled mess. And then I also have all of his newborn pants, which are right in here. And um, I think these are actually three month pants, so we're not gonna be using these right now. And the rest of the drawers should be empty for now. So uh, I think that's pretty much everything as far as his nursery. Um, we're absolutely loving it. Obviously, we're only one week in, so things are bound to change and um, kind of move as we start figuring out what works best for us. Um, but we're loving how it's set up right now. And so yeah, um, like I said, we do have his time lapse out. So if you want to watch how we did this super fast, definitely check it out. Um, but for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it, like it if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!